So, yes, <clears throat> I take back everything I said. Looks like you can control this to the nth degree. Check this out. So, you can control at any given waypoint. I'll select waypoint 3 there. Camera action can be start recording, take photo, start record recording, um, your altitude, your speed, your position, but this gets wild. The zoom, you can control the zoom of the camera, uh, how long I'm hovering for a second, 10 seconds, whatever. It's all there. And then, let's get out of that. And then your point of interest, you can control all those as well. So if you're on a point of interest like this, altitude, and you can link it to any given waypoint. So if I link it to waypoint 2, that waypoint 2, it will point at point of interest. And then, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on here. This could get complex pretty quick. Your global speed, your end of flight speed. But most important is when you're on actual waypoints, you yeah, camera action. You can set these things all on the map. You don't need to be out there flying. Global speed is interesting, but I'm not sure how that applies to, uh, here you go, custom. So you can set the speed just for that one waypoint. I assume it's getting to it, not leaving it for the next one. And then headings face the point of interest, um, manual, custom. Let's see what custom is. Custom doesn't really say what it is. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm also guessing, and there's your gimbal tilt, there's your zoom, there's your hover. So anyway, you can apply to all or just to one setting. And as you go through all of these, you can see them on the map here. The waypoints, the home point, where the drone is now, all those lovely things. So I'm also guessing that DJI has a new user guide. One point, I think they're up to 1.6 now. They were at 1.4 maybe. Uh, in any event, they put documentation out, unlike other companies that will remain nameless, that go ahead and give you all kinds of complex waypoint settings, but give you no directions on the sequence, how to set them up, you have to literally go in and experiment everything yourself. Follow the course. If you tell it to face the waypoint, it'll continue doing that. See, aircraft heading, gimbal tilt, that's like the waypoint will be automatically adjusted to face it. I could say, okay. Then I also found out we can now shut the beeping off during return to home. Just added that. I don't know if it was there, but when I turned the volume all the way down, on the uh, RC Pro, it said, well, then turn beeping and voice prompts up. Are you okay with that? And I was like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we got an awful lot of good, great toys to play with here. So I'm going to try and dig in and see what I can figure out as far as what works and how it does so. All right. I'll keep you posted. Thanks, everybody.